Um, so Annie, so Sherry and Simon who are with us. So you say you, you took time to pray, and some people might say who are sort of starting out these or sort of thinking about things, well, how? how? How do you pray into that? How do you seek God about starting a visa? What was your experience? Yeah, well, that's quite uh, it's quite an interesting question because I'm not really a sitter and prayer mm. kind of person. I'm a action person, and so it was a very big learning curve for me. Um, mm. It all had to be underpinned by prayer, and actually, any actions that we did, yeah. we had to really think about. Actually, is this really where we think God wants to go? And actually, does this follow some of the core beliefs and values, which some of them didn't? And um, again, I. I remember that I struggled with that because it's it's quite hard to get your head around. You know, we we're action driven people. You know, if you want something done, go and do it, and that's that's how I am. So um, learning curve. But with Simon on board, you had a bit of experience from Battersea, yes? Uh, yes. So I'd been involved in the Beeson um, when I lived in London. So I spent probably eighteen months or so going once a week out on the van. Um, hanging out with the interns there, which was brilliant, but then moved out to, to Surrey. So I was looking to try and see if we could set up one locally. Um, so I was praying for a long time before uh, it came about, um, when uh, subsequently I realised that Annie had been praying as well. I have been pestering uh, the curate at uh, my church about it, so I'd been probably a year hoping that something would happen. So one morning I remember before church walking the dog, um, and saying to God, look, this be some things either got to happen or or not. Uh, let's sort it out one way or the other. So you gave God a deadline. Um, well, I didn't give a deadline, but it was kind of an ultimatum, I think, more <laughs> than a deadline. Um, uh, but as I walked out of church that morning, um, my curate grabbed me by the sleeve and said, Simon, I've got to talk to you. There's this woman called Annie who goes to Isha Green Baptist who wants to set up a beeson. Um, so he put the the two of us together and various other people came and prayed with us and we prayed for once a week, every week for a year until we finally had enough pieces together to have enough of a, a core team to, to begin to operate. So when you have to not do anything and just pray, uh, it was a really good lesson for us and I think that as, as we've started to operate a bit more, that year of just praying and trusting that God would deliver. Um, it's helped us as we've gone forward. Prayer's been the sort of the foundation and the expectation. Yes, for... yeah, I mean, I think that um, some of the exciting stuff about Beeson is when you see the answer prayer. Mm. Um, I'm more interested in mm. seeing the answer prayer than I am in um, how much we're able to do. Um, but it's all about the way that we do it and how we, how we do it. And that's quite like so many things with Beeson, completely counter cultural uh, and quite counter church culture as well, not just secular culture. But it's quite freeing as well, and I think that that's what we found when we started as a, as a, as a core team, was um, to approach it in the same way that we do with givers, that you want people to be giving out of uh, love, so they've been touched by God's love and therefore we are called to give. I think that when you haven't got that expectation of we have to do this and we haven't done enough of this or whatever, but if we're seeking what God wants us to do, then it takes some of that pressure off. Mm. And the fact that we prayed at the beginning, I think, helped with that. Do you think running a bees and being part of a bees and is actually a, a lot about your own learning, your own relationship with God, over and above that of the practicalities? Yes, I think that's the more important part of it in a way, because I think when, when we started, it, it impacted me hugely because where I'd then become to a, a difficulty in, in a, a decision we had to do for Beeson, I would think, I need to pray about this and wait for the solution. I started realising I could bring that into my family life, even though I'd been a Christian for many, many years, that some things that I wouldn't have thought about praying for re resolution in, I suddenly thought, oh, well, I, could, I could pray about that. So it was beginning to impact into the rest of my faith journey mm -hmm. in a way that... Um, I hadn't really appropriated it before. So yes, I think definitely um, um, Beeson changes you from the inside out, doesn't it?